Hi, my name is Ashish. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can show selected values of a slicer in a card or in a table or in titles or anywhere. So for this, we have taken a product slicer and we have taken a card visual. Now we will create a measure to show the filtered values. So let's go to the table and right click new measure. And I will name it as selected filter. Here I will use concatenate x function. This concatenate x function takes table expression as input parameter. These two are the required parameter and the other parameters like delimiter, order by expression, order by are the optional parameters. So here I will give the table as the values of product. And in the expression, I'm going to give product column. Now if I close the bracket and uh, drag this here, so it shows the product, it shows the selected value. Now if I click on uh, another product, it will show Caratera and Amarilla. But there is no delimiter, so we will have to provide a delimiter in this expression. So let's add a comma as a delimiter. Now check it. You can see a comma has been added. Now I want a space as well. So I will uh, provide a space after comma and click on enter. See it's working. Now you must be thinking why I have given values and then product instead of the table name. So let's do one thing. Let's provide uh, the table name here. Financials and click on enter what it will do is it will provide a list of values so basically uh, it's concatenating values of product from the table financials so it, it will concatenate every product values for every row and by adding a delimiter which we don't want we want the distinct values of product so here either we can use distinct product or we can use values of product We can also give a distinct product. So if I close the bracket and click on enter, you can see it's providing me the same result. So instead of distinct, you can also give values. Both works the same. If we want to add another expression of order by, we can give a order by a product. And let's see what's the result. So it will sort uh, values in a ascending order. Now, if I clear the selection, it will show all the values in a filter, even if we don't have any selection, which is not expected. Basically, if, uh, if I select all the values in this scenario, it should give me all the values. Else, if I clear the selection, it should show no filters applied. So for this here, I will add if is filtered product so if it is filtered, it will execute this expression. If it is not filtered, I want to see no filter selected. And let's close the bracket. Now click on enter. As you can see, now it's showing me no filter selected. And if I click on any filter, it will give me the filtered values. So that was it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.